In John 7, 7, the Lord Jesus Christ said, The world cannot hate you. Me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So according to the Bible, the true Jesus of Scripture, the Lord Jesus Christ, was hated by the world so much that they crucified him uh, because he was telling the world that their works are evil. That's why Christ was crucified. He told the world that their works are evil. And so... Uh, as Christians, we shouldn't expect to ever impress the world or to ever satisfy the world or get along with the world. They're going to hate us just like it hated Jesus, just like they hated Jesus Christ. This world will hate us just as they hated Christ. Um, you know, recently I was a uh, some video or not video. I'm sorry, a, a, a photo of me street preaching was on uh, social media, and uh, and somebody had said in that town that I was street preaching in that I, instead of street preaching, I should do something useful and go help the homeless and go help some shelters and things like that. And little do they know that I have helped the homeless. I've been involved in homeless relief. I've been involved in uh, in shelters. And as a matter of fact, I uh, used to be a security guard for a Baptist rescue mission. And one of the two security guards, there was another with me, uh, but one of the two security guards for a Baptist rescue mission uh, over a decade ago, but I've also, in the past decade, I have been involved with helping the homeless, feeding the homeless, giving aid to the homeless, and I'm a firm supporter of homeless ministries as long as the gospel of Christ is being presented to the homeless that are in those ministries. Otherwise, you're not helping them at all if you just feed their bellies, but you don't feed their souls. I believe in doing both, feeding their bellies and their souls uh, with the, with physical food as well as the gospel of Jesus Christ and warning them about hell and telling them how to get to heaven. But they're saying, oh, you should help the homeless do this and that. And, you know, uh, I had an occasion where somebody had said that, and I went to a homeless relief program that was in their local area that they were telling me I need to help out with instead of be street preaching and wasting this, wasting that town's time preaching the gospel uh, when, when I should do things that help people in reality. And so they recommended me go help this homeless place that was in their local area. And I'm not saying the name of the city or the place. I don't boast about my good deeds before men. I don't do that. Jesus taught not to do that. But without mentioning names, I went to this homeless relief program and I helped people there. And you know who I never saw there? There was people there helping. And I, I was pleased to meet them. They're great people. And the homeless people there as well uh, were great people. But you know, uh, you know who I didn't see there? The person that was criticizing me and the person that was criticizing my street ministry and the person who said that I need to help this homeless program. They were not there. Matter of fact, the people there told me they had been short-staffed for the entire time they were doing it. So that shows you the hypocrisy of the wicked, the hypocrisy of what I call secular Pharisees. Those are people who don't believe in God or don't believe in the Scriptures or don't believe the message of Jesus and don't believe in religion per se, but they still behave the same way that the religious Pharisees did, always nitpicking and trying to find a fault with preachers and with the church and with the people of Jesus Christ. And really, it's their own self-righteousness. They're being convicted by the Holy Spirit of their sin. So it doesn't matter what you do. You can try to please the wicked when they criticize you. You're not helping the homeless enough. Well, guess what? If you go and help the homeless, they'll say, well, if you really believe what you claim to believe, why aren't you out there warning people about hell on the street corners? Then you go preach on the street corners and say, well, if you really are a Christian, why aren't you going and helping the homeless? And they'll say, you can't do both. But if you end up doing one or the other, they'll criticize you. And if you end up doing both, then they'll say, well, you're just being fanatical and trying to make yourself look good and all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, you'll never please the wicked. The children of the devil will always hate the children of God. The Bible says that the just man is an abomination to the wicked and the wicked man is an abomination to the just. That's what the Bible says. So don't try to please the world. Aim to please your master in heaven, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you and God bless.